February is Black History Month, and WSFCS celebrates with a wide array of events all over the district. At Parkland High School, students posted Black History facts and shout-outs on the school walls. A homeroom door decoration competition created original and informative doors. A living museum transformed honor students into historical figures and advanced theater arts students wrote, directed, and performed skits about people and events in black history. Parkland also held two panels of prominence, one featuring community members and another where three Mustang staff members took questions and shared very honest and real past personal experiences in hopes of helping and improving the lives of their students. You know, not only um, do our students have a story to tell, our community has a story to tell, but our staff has a story to tell too. And I feel like sharing those stories helps bring us closer together and helps make our family um, more cohesive. <laughs> Lots of guests came through our schools during Black History Month. Mrs. Vogt's third graders at Ward Elementary School had the honor of welcoming Samantha Fox Winship, a local beekeeper. Ms. Winship has been a farmer and beekeeper at Mother's Finest Family Farms, one of only five black-owned farms in Forsyth County, for the past seven years. She happily shared what she has learned in her profession and hopes it serves as an inspiration to these young minds. It needed to be more diversity in the world of beekeeping and I didn't see anybody who looked like me who I could really relate to and therefore um, a lot of people aren't in that profession because if you don't see somebody who um, you know you can reflect on then it, it really makes it hard. Over at Meadowlark Middle School, they welcomed local musician Keith Bird. Mr. Bird performed and talked with students about the influences African Americans have had on the world of music. I grew up with people around me telling me the places that I should go, the things that I should do that was right. East Forsyth High School also had special guests and events all month long. Brian McLaughlin, better known as BDOT, is a very popular host, actor, comedian, and radio personality from the triad. He's the hype man for the UNC Tar Heels men's basketball team, has a popular podcast, and has appeared on the popular TV show Nick Cannon's Wild and Out. These students know him, look up to him, and were eager to hear his adult stories of success after adversity in his younger years. I try to go in and just try to give them as much of realities of life as possible with a little bit of humor. People, you know, that when they see me, they expect me to just come in telling a bunch of jokes, but that's really not what it is when I'm in those, when these types of areas. I just want to cut through and impact when I'm coming to talk to them. So it's a lot more um, real, you know, but it's still entertaining and we still have a good time. And if I can just reach one, um, I've been successful. <laughs> I don't want to celebrate African American and black history. I want to celebrate the, the culture and, and what it still means to us today. We really wanted to dive into the culture and give students something they could grasp a hold to. It's very good. It's very flavorful too. As part of the month, East Forsyth dedicated an entire day with special classes on soul food, African drumming and dancing, and a jazz band, just to name a few of the options. So we've had a lot of great responses, um, touching, touching lives and changing lives out here. Black History Month is a part of American history. You know, it's everybody's history. Everybody should be able to take pride in, in what they're doing and, and, and achieving for Black History Month. So uh, that's why it's important. It's all about unity and everybody getting involved.